Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this um, parametric origami door uh, using um, quite a lot of trig trigonometry uh, formulas. Today we are going to model it using an uh, adaptive family with no uh, trigonometry for formulas. Okay, so let's start. So first, create, create a generic model. Place two points and I'm going to make them closer to each other and then make adaptive create a spline reference line and then place a point draw on work plan set work plan pick this horizontal work plan and then place it on point one and set work plan and then place it on point two so now select these two points and our topping is maybe three meter offset so and then create a height parameter instance ok and ok so now we need a width parameter so set a work plan pick the work plan of this reference line and pick the points so this will be the width and it need to be reporting parameter so um, and also we need to um, create a formula h equals w times 2 apply ok so now this is the shape of that door so select these two points spline reference line and then place a point and draw on face and place it on this line and then reference circle draw on work plan set work plan pick the vertical so this one and draw a circle and create a radius and create a radius parameter and so select this point and then move uh, on. let me just select these three the point the circle the rate uh, the radius cc copy it and then select this point and pick new host and pick it here on this reference line and select select both these two points and typing zero so now go to family types and give the parameter to uh, r so r equals w so now we have these two circles these two circles will help us to locate the door panel okay so now place a point drawn with face and place on this circle and select this point change this to angle so it's 100 and uh, actually i'm going to change it to zero and see where it is it goes up here um actually what i, what I want is um, this point this uh, locate uh, in the lower part of this circle so what I'm going to do is select this point, select select this point, and um, rotate this by 180 degrees. So see, it goes down here. So now it, let me try um, maybe 74 degrees. It goes here, so that's fine. Um, I'll change it back to zero. Okay. So now I'm going to place another point and place it here. I select this point change this to angle as well so now I know that um, I uh, now it will be here so if I need to keep the angle between these two points 90 degree I need to move this back here so actually this one equals if I minus this one by um, 360 it will be the same so now I'm going to create a parameter so this angle I'll call it A1 okay so A1 is this point and I'll call create another one so call it A2 instance okay and go to family types so on the A2 I'll use A1 minus 90 apply so you see it's negative but it's the same location so now if I so if I if I drag this point, you will see the other point will move and, and keep keep the angle between these points, three point uh, 90 degrees. Okay, so that's that's it. So now let's do the same 
So place it here and another one here. Let's have a look what this angle is. Angle 53, yep, close to that one. So I'll link that to A1. And then this one, and I'll change it to angle as well and link this to A2. So now this panel, so see uh, this one panel, this is one panel and this is the second panel. So now we need a, what we need is we need to locate the third panel which is here and the fourth panel which is here. So uh, so which means we need to find one point and also the point here so it will always be the middle of this angle which is you know, 45 degree between this to this. So what I'm going to do is place a point here select this point and change this to angle and I know that um, I'll create an A3 anyway so A3 3 instance OK and OK and go to family types and I know that A3 will equals A2 plus 45 A2 plus 45 apply and you will see it's in the middle of this angle same I'll place another one um, yeah, sometimes you need to rotate a little bit. Yep. Okay. So select this point and then link. Sorry, change it to angle first and link it to A3. So now, oh, hang on. Let me think. Do we need this one? Um, no, we don't. We don't. We don't need one. We only need one point. I'll show you why. So select this point and as well as this point and create a spline. Oh, sorry, what did I? So select these two, create a spine. Hang on, what's happening? Oh, sorry, there are two points here, so that's why. So I'm just going to select one of them. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not this one, I'll temporarily hide it. So select this point and this point and create a spline and reference line. Okay, so. And then we need another point and uh, oh sorry we need another line I'm going to create a point place on this one and select this point and use the host point bar intersection and pick this circle so now I know that there this point will always be here okay so now we can create a reference line and draw a work plan set work plan I'm going to pick the um, work plan so either horizontal or this one vertical should be the same i'm going to just use the horizontal work plan and draw a reference line 90 degrees so this way okay and also i'm going to extend it to the other direction so now this is one line and then what i need to do is i just need to extend this this reference line so um, reference line and draw on work plan, set work plan and pick the, actually I'm not quite sure which one I need to pick, maybe tab, maybe this one, okay? So pick this one and then draw this, extend this, extend this reference line. And it looks like I can, lock, I'll try lock it and see what happens. So now let's try change the angle, um, maybe uh, uh, 80. Yep, so good. So see, this, this will be the point and change it to 90. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, change it to 30 degree. Good. And if we try the zero degree, yes. Okay, so good. So now we need to, we can just place a point, draw a face, and place it on this line, select this point, host, host point by intersection, and pick this one. So now we have the last point we need for this panel. See, this panel and this panel. Okay, so now let's create the panel. So the panel will be a generic model adaptive as well and let's first create place two points make adaptive and create a spline 
and make reference line. Okay, then place one point, draw on face, and pick the middle point, and then reference circle, uh, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan, and draw a circle. And create a radius and create a radius parameter instance. Okay, and also we need a reporting parameter. So set work plan, pick the work plan of this reference line, the diff dr. So make sure you pick the um, point and then create this. I'll call it W as well. So instance reporting and OK. So go back to family types. It's uh, R equals half of W. Apply. OK. So now we, we are going to place the second, uh, so the third point. And this time, draw on work plan. I'm going to use the level reference level. I'll place it right. Doesn't really matter, just place it there. Okay, so make it adaptive. So now we're going to place a reference line, draw on work plan, set work plan, and just pick a vertical work plan and draw it up. Uh, just make sure you higher than this radius. Okay, so now place a point, place it on this reference line, and then select this. Uh, hang on, sorry, looks like it's wrong. Yeah, so make sure pick draw on face. So you, you, you can see the different size of the point you, will, you can tell from this. So and then you, you will have this option host point by intersection and pick the circle. So this point will be the point, the, the up point for this panel. So, so one, two, three. So now let's Connect this one point one and the point this point and the spline reference line and also this one and the point two spline reference line. So then select these three reference line, create form. I'm going to just create a solid and then I'll just type in 20 20 each side. Okay, so if you want to, you can add a uh, parameter for the thickness and also the material, but here I'm just Stop here and uh, and that's 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 a panel and I uh, load this into the family so let's then we can place it on these points so before I place I'm going to cancel this because I want to adjust the the angle a little bit so I know that I'm placing on the correct one because now it's overlapping so apply so you will see oh yeah good. And yeah, it's quite close. It's fine. Create component. So first panel. So one. Uh, make sure it's play on place on face. Two and three. And also here one and with the other here two and three. And and I'm going to temporary hold on H H H H. So to make sure I place it on this point, not the that panel. And the one and two and three. Yeah, and I'm going to temporarily hide it as well and create another one. So one and two and three. Uh, this looks like an HR. Okay, so that's fine. So it's on the other side. That's fine. I can you can either um, uh, delete and redo. Just just change the point. Uh, so point one start from point one, and yeah. So just change the uh, sequence of the point. But also you can do this. So flip it. Sometimes it will work. Sometimes it won't. But yeah, you can always try. So this I think this is. Is pretty much it. Now let's have a try. So zero degree. Yep, this is fine. See, that's a flat one. Forty-five degree, and yeah, that's okay. So yep, good. Ninety degree, and yep. So that's it. And then select all. I'll just temporarily hold them. So if you want to, you can create a void. So I'm going to quickly create a void 
uh, not this point. I'm going to use yep yeah, this point and this point. Create a spline reference line, and also let's try to pick this not this one. Yep, yeah, this one. So and then create another spline reference line. So now select this one. You can create a void, and I'm going to just make it. Um, and maybe 500 on each side so make uh, make sure it's thicker than the wall and also you will need to uh, it's better to use the always vertical and also check the cut with void when loaded so now this family is finished so we can have a test so go to project and I'll just place a wall and go load this into here and for the 3D view I'm going to just place it um, so um, yeah, so maybe from here to to here and then you you because it it's it, you it won't automatically cut the wall you just need to go modify and cut this okay so that's it and then let's try so you can uh, change the angle zero it's open and uh, 30 uh, oh sorry looks like it's on the wrong um, uh, that's oh, that's fine I'll just edit family so I just let's try so this one's check and also this one check so load this back X uh, over right. Yep. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So um, and change the angle 44 degree, 60 and 90. So um, I didn't spend too much time. I mean, if you zoom closer, so you will see that's not perfect. But uh, um, I think that's it's enough. It's, it's telling a story, or you can just join them if you want to, to you know, to see this line. But yeah, I think it's it's okay. What do you think? So at least you don't need to do all the you know math. Uh, what's that called? Uh, tr tr uh, tr tr trigonometry. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Um, let me know if you have any question. Uh, see you next time. Cut. Oops. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Bye.